Hi, Tanya here with TanyaRainier.com, where I help creative women entrepreneurs build their dream business, charge their worth, and fulfill their life in ways that they only can when they have a business that they love. And today we are talking about a struggle that so many women in business have, and that is how to raise your rates with confidence. Now, if you have a creative business and you're offering your services in exchange for money, you've probably been stuck at least once or twice throughout your career as an entrepreneur in figuring out what it is that you should be charging and maybe getting to that point where you think or feel like you should be charging a little bit more, but you're not quite sure how to go about that. It feels icky. It feels like Maybe your clients are gonna freak out on you if you raise your prices. Maybe they're not gonna pay that. Maybe you're gonna scare them away. Maybe it doesn't feel really good inside when you turn around and try to have that conversation and say that new number to somebody. So we're gonna talk about a few things, baby steps that you can take to incrementally increase that number and feel really good about it. So first of all, you need to know what you should be charging in the first place. What is that hourly rate? Now, perhaps your packages aren't bundled based on time, and that's a good thing. If that works for you, keep doing it. But even if you're packaging your services and you're bundling them, you still need to know what your time is worth. You still need to be able to break that down and say, this is what it costs me to run my business. This is what I'm worth while I'm in there working on my business or in my business. And being able to break that down to an hourly fee that translates into an annual salary lets you know, are you where you should be? Is it time to raise them? Am I making what I really need to make, the kind of profit that I need to sustain my business and still give back to my family and my home life in a healthy, prosperous, functional way? Making the right amount of money is what you need for balance. It's important. That's what makes the world go round and that is ultimately what is gonna make you a better version of yourself. It's gonna give you that freedom, that time to do what you want, do what you love, that balance. It's not to be greedy, it's to be happy, to be successful, to be the best version of you. And when you're making what you deserve to be making, you can give back to clients and serve them on a whole new level that it comes from the heart. It is the best that you can bring to the table. So what is that number? If you don't know what that number is, you can go back to last week's episode where I showed you my exact formula for figuring out how much your time is worth. So figure out what that number is and then sit down, look at that number and say, all right, where am I at? Okay, this is where I am now, but this is where I want to be and set a new goal. Maybe it's just a little bit higher, a little bit more than what you're making now. Maybe it's a lot more than you're making now. Figure out what that number is to you. Maybe it's $10 more an hour. Give yourself a raise, you deserve that. Set a goal that's a little bit higher, that's slightly scary, just a little bit, a little bit uncomfortable, but doable. Something that you feel you can confidently grow into. And after you've set that new goal for yourself, you're gonna to start to practice moving into that space, moving into that number. Now, I want you to look at that number and say, okay, why am I worth this much money? Why are my services worth X amount an hour? Why are my services worth X amount per package? And answer yourself, come up with 10 reasons. If you're struggling with this, because sometimes as women, we have a hard time looking at what we do in attaining really valuable pieces of information, attaching that to it and saying, I'm worth it because. We struggle with this. If you struggle with this, you're not alone. I've been there. I've had a hard time saying, I don't even, like it's, I'm just naturally good at this. I don't even see why it's that big of a deal. Why would somebody want to pay me that for this? and you remove the value from the equation that way. So if you're having a hard time with that, reach out to a client that you've worked with. 
Reach out to people that know what you do and know what you bring to the table and say, why is this so valuable to you? To me, this is second nature. I'm so good at doing this that it's hard for me to believe and think that somebody can't just go do this on their own or that you would pay me X amount of dollars for this and say, what is this worth to you? What am I saving you in terms of time, stress? What am I bringing to the table in terms of expertise? I just want to hear it in your words. I want to know that I am bringing you value and that this is really, really working for you. Could you just, could you just help me out and just tell me what that, what that means to you? And they will. And then you're going to be able to say, oh my gosh, all right, I get it. This is what I bring to the table. This is why what I'm doing is so valuable. This is why I'm worth charging $10 an hour more, $2,000 a month more, $5,000 a package more. Whatever that number is, you're going to justify it and validate it by answering the question of why. And then after you've done that, practice having conversations with this new number. Now, this is huge. When you were little, I'm sure that you sat in the mirror and you had conversations with yourself, right? I know I did. I pretended to be a pretty woman and, you know, Princess Ariel from Little Mermaid and all these things. I remember just practicing my faces in the mirror and I wanted to be an actress. So I would do all these things to put myself in that role, put myself in that mindset of that character that I had seen on TV that I wanted to become. And I want you to do the same thing. Put yourself in the mindset or the role of the new version of you, the more expensive, more valuable version of you. And practice saying this. Practice the conversations that you're going to have when somebody asks you, what is it that you charge? How do you work? Where do we begin? How do we start doing this? And practice what you're going to say until you feel really good about it. Say it with confidence. Say it with conviction. You know, you, you got this. You're going to rock this. You're good at what you do. You've just proven it. You've just asked people. You've just written down 10 or 15 or 20 reasons why you deserve to charge X amount of money. Now just get comfortable saying it. And believe me, I have done this before where when I first started my interior design business, for example, what I charged was a fraction of what I charge now. And it had nothing to do with my skill level. The skill level has grown over time, absolutely. But it was my confidence. At the time that I started that, I didn't believe in myself enough. I didn't believe that I was worth premium prices. I didn't believe that anybody would pay those prices. I struggled with all of those money blocks that you're struggling with, that we all struggle with at some point in the duration in the growing and building of our business. It happens. But when you step out of that zone and into a zone of a more healthy money mindset, and you start to build that confidence in who you are and the confidence in what you're bringing to the table and delivering to your clients. Everything changes and suddenly you see that it's a win-win. They love to pay you because without you, they couldn't have what they do. They wouldn't be getting the results that they're getting. You're saving them so much. And when you know what that is and you can equate a dollar amount to that, it's going to feel really good. It's not going to feel icky or gross. You're going to feel like you're offering them a tremendous service, giving them a beautiful gift, and they are going to love paying you for it because it's so worth it. I know for me, when somebody comes in and saves me time, saves me money, helps me to make money, that's priceless. I'm so happy to write a check for that. Hand over my credit card. You bet. Because I realize how valuable they are in my world and your clients are going to do the same thing for you. So now when you get really comfortable and you've, you're maybe at that level for a while, then you're going to start to do this whole process all over again. When you feel like you've reached a plateau and now you're charging that new level, but you know that you know that you could do more, you know that you could serve your clients in a better way if you package things a little bit differently or maybe increase your prices again. You're gonna have to keep doing it. That's how you grow and build. 
You can't stay in one spot forever. You have to challenge yourself. You have to step out of your comfort zone. And you have to do those crazy, scary things a little bit. So if you do them in baby steps, they become so much easier. So number one, just to recap, know what you should be charging in the first place. Number two, set a new goal. Number three, ask yourself why you deserve that. Why are you valuable? And I'm not saying that to challenge you. I'm saying that to prove it to yourself, to validate your worth to yourself. And if you need to, ask somebody else. Number four, practice, practice, practice until you're so comfortable and confident and you own that new number that it just comes out of you without even giving it a second thought. And number five, once you've grown into that and you've plateaued and you're ready, do it again. So that's it. I hope that helps you to raise your prices, to feel a little bit better about what you're doing in your business and the value in what it is that you offer to the world. And if you need help with this, you know I'm always here for you. I hope you have an amazing week, a very prosperous, abundant, and successful week in your business and in your life. I will see you on the next video. Hey, did you know that when it comes to making money in your business and creating more abundance, it's not all about the tactics, it's actually more about the mindset. While budgets and reading numbers and profit and loss statements and be able to, able to manage your money is important. What's even more critical is the way that you think and feel about money. If there are money blocks lurking somewhere inside of you, it's going to sabotage your income potential. So what do you do? You get rid of them. There is a six step formula that I teach. I use it myself, I teach it to my clients that will help you identify where you're at in mastering your own money mindset in conquering the blocks that are standing in the way from you creating your dream life. It'll help you to create more time, more freedom, more flexibility, and ultimately, more balance and more abundance in your life. You can check it out at tanyarainier.com forward slash formula, where I share all these steps with you and my favorite tactics, tips, and exercises to conquer those blocks and get that momentum rolling super fast. So you're gonna to wanna to check that out and I'll be there with you every step of the way to answer questions and help you through those blocks so that you can have an awesome, abundant life.